We live in a technologically advanced society in which understanding of science is highly variable. The ability to communicate to varied and wider audiences using digital platforms has emerged as an important attribute. Presenting complex scientific principles in a clear and engaging way is important not just for scientists communicating their work, but for businesses, politicians and the general public. We created a novel assessment designed to replace the traditional ways of assessing the students' communication skills through posters and oral presentations. The assessment aims to enable students to demonstrate the attainment of new set of skills in an educational context. A digital training workshop was organized where students were introduced to the different digital platforms such as Powtoon, Wix, Infogram, Anchor, and Blogger. Students were then asked to produce a short digital case study presentation, for example, three to five minute video clips, web page, blog, article, podcast, or infographic on their research project. Then post this on their social media account and submit the link along with 500 word summary explaining the rationale behind choosing a particular topic and the digital platform of their choice. The marking criteria covered the aspects of depth and breadth of content, accessibility for the target audience, originality and creativity. With a class size of 28 students, we obtained 28 videos on diverse topics which reflected the immense creativity of the students. They were able to communicate effectively by translating the knowledge they acquired through research experience into information that is accessible to wider audiences. This process helped to engage students' interest in the learning process and reflect on their ability to be a powerful co-producer of knowledge. This practice helped them familiarize to the current digital platforms. By posting them on social media, they were able to promote themselves in more effective manner, which could significantly enhance a student's employability prospects. With the capacity of producing 20 to 30 videos at a time as part of an assessment, this process can be turned into a more valuable partnership where students could work alongside staff to design and deliver aspects of the research or teaching course. The resulting digital content can be used for multiple and wider purposes, for example, student producing animated videos on specific research projects in liaison with their project supervisors. This will allow the research supervisors to use those video links on their web profiles or when promoting their field of research on universities' open days or for focused outreach activities. Students can also collaborate with staff to produce videos to explain complex concepts in an accessible format for lectures or creative interactive learning teaching resources, which are particularly applicable in current hybrid teaching. Students will use these video clips to post on their LinkedIn profiles to increase their visibility to potential employers. Academics, on the other hand, will use the product for their specific aims, for example, promotion of their research or teaching resources. It reaches a broader range of type of audience. It provides an opportunity to students who are not into talking to be creative and resourceful in sharing their knowledge to the public. I felt that I could be more creative with my work and the flexibility with being able to choose various digital case study platforms. It provides training on how to use other platforms to express our disseminated knowledge through this activity. It's timely, especially these days during a pandemic. We would like to expand this activity by going beyond a mere assessment. To increase its impact, we aim to produce a high-quality product that is reliable and suitable for wider audience outside the university. 
for this purpose including the checkpoint before the assessment submission is important where we can provide thorough formative feedback to the students on improving the quality of the videos. The proofreading by the academic will also be included as an important step to ensure the accuracy and validity of digital information presented. This is a simple creative assessment but has multiple impacts. Introducing digital case study as an assessment, we will be able to continue this novel practice in the coming years and will develop it further in response to staff demands and feedback. For example, the students who have used these platforms can be hired as paid interns during the summer to work for academics in preparation for the next academic year. This would indeed be a continual process where both academics as well as students will benefit on long-term basis and would significantly enhance students' employability prospects. We are working with the university's widening participation team to make these videos available to 14 to 16 years old school pupils from disadvantaged neighborhoods. This will help pupils to be inspired by the ongoing research projects from broad disciplines in an accessible and engaging manner. I aim to use the digital content produced by the students on the university's open days or focused outreach activities. This will help in the promotion of the university across the wider community.